tutorials this is javascript top 100 coding interview questions and answer series in today's episode the question is how can we clone an object now this is one of those basic questions that is often asked in interview and this is a use case that you will require on a day-to-day -day basis when you're working so it's equally important as per interview preparation as per daily life programming let's get started and see how we can achieve that there is no right or wrong way to do it there are multiple ways of how you can clone an object i'm going to show you a couple of variations of it you can choose whichever you want to use let's get started before i start coding i'll request you to check out the ebook that i've authored on javascript coding snippets these coding snippets will help you become become better developer as well as help you crack the front end developer interview role you can find the book at arttutorials.gumroad.com if you have any questions, please write to me at surya.arad at gmail.com. All right, so the ba back to the question. How can we clone an object? We can clone an object in multiple ways in JavaScript. Now, one of the fastest, simplest way that I tell people is using object.assign, or you can even use spread operator. These are two ways. Um, there, are, there are more ways we can do, but I'll just show you these two, and any one that you use should be good. All right. So let's get started and do hands-on now. All right, so I'm going to take a array here and let's call it employees, right? And we have to create an object. So let's give an ID, um, say name, okay, and say throw in some more Right? So you create an object. This is an object that is given to you as an input. Now you need to clone it. So we'll have to new employee object equal to. So like I said, you can just use object dot assign. That's the built in method. It takes two parameters, target and source. The target object to copy to. That's what it says. So the target is empty for us. And the source that we want to do copy is employees. Right? Let's just console log and see those values in action. Okay, now let's refresh it here and you see that the object, new object is created with exactly same replica as that of the employees, right? So this is way number one to create, right? Now I'll show you another way of creating the same. Now, like I said, again, there is no right or wrong way, but I definitely want you to learn all the different uh, possibilities of how uh, and what things happen. So I'm going to show you with a REST operator. So again, um, employees OPJ equal to, now see the uh, yet another fastest way. Now, it, just put it in a, oh, sorry. Just put it in object and put dot 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 that's your spread operator and just spread employees that's it right pretty cool and easy stuff and with es6 uh, the way we have it's just amazing what you can do with object see when you use spread operator with arrays with objects it's extremely powerful and i if you ask me which is the preferred way i always prefer the way number two uh, that's because it's much cleaner, right? Uh, this is also okay. It's an inbuilt method that you can use, but I personally, I prefer this way. It's much easy because when you work with multiple objects, it's it becomes easy to work with spread operator. So you will get it there with practice, but know that there are two ways to clone an object. One is to use object.assign. Way two is to use spread operator. Now let me load this and show you the output of both. So see output wise both are same yes and there is no right or wrong way of doing things in particularly in javascript whichever you feel comfortable if you feel comfortable using object.assign that's fine but some senior developers or experienced uh, developers i'm sure they will agree with me that they prefer to use spread operator do let me know which is your favorite way uh, or technique of implementing or cloning an object i will be happy to hear it anything new all right, so that's about in today's question. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am creating this series. Don't forget to get the ebook for practicing and getting all these questions in a PDF format. 
please visit arttutorials.gumroad.com. If you have any queries or doubts, please write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.